orisho kun gboru ebo ko rubo ilebere gboru ebo ko rubo afuwa pe nikan lo rubo oro afuwa pe wa da yo on wa nso wi pe awon won bi to lori ti gbe yan ri o afuwa pe wa da on wi pe ibi kan lo lori ti gbe yan ri o kadara o papo ni all right guys welcome once again to my channel uh if you, this is your first time hit the subscribe button and uh, if you like my videos hit the like button and share them with your friends and family so this video i'm making right now i've been wanting to make this video for over a month now but i didn't have a laptop and now that my laptop has arrived i thought i should make this video once and for all so the reason i'm making this video is because about two or three months ago i stumbled upon a website run by nigerians in diaspora and they were awarding some of their members you know some kind of achievement award one of the awardees caught my attention because she lives in germany and she claims to have a phd so when i saw this i was very very impressed because it's not all the time we see nigerians especially women you know who live abroad who educate themselves to the highest level so i was very interested in finding out more about this woman knowing more about her as in, as something i could share to other people to motivate them but when i started to do my investigation on this lady i started you know going down a kind of rabbit hole and opened up a can of worms and i discovered too many shady things in the mix so i want to share with you what i discovered so before i uh go on with what uh what, what i discovered i want you guys to watch this video this uh the first few i don't know maybe like the first one minute of this video because the man in this video is the one responsible for awarding these doctorate degrees What we are giving, I think you should know, you should understand the gravity of these awards. Many those who are, you know, seeing in the internet about our United Nations universities, where I am the first Indian chairman and the chief rector. Also, the Academy of Universal Global Peace, which is an intergovernmental organization which was founded by me in the year 1985. Every year, we are educating, transforming peace builders for making them as peace-living, peace-loving, and peace-practicing worldwide, a transformed community. Okay, so that's just a brief intro. We'll come back to this video again and play it one more time for you guys to listen to it again. So just uh, before I go into the video, just I have to mention that this is not a slight against Indian people or against African people. There's always people, bad eggs everywhere. So I don't want anybody watching this video to be like, oh, that's how Indian people behave or something like that. So uh, leaving that alone, I decided to check who this lady was. Where did she get her PhD from? And I found out she got her PhD from an institute called the Academy of Universal Global Peace. As you can see here, this is the address of the institute usa hq yada 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 when i saw the address already i was a bit like it was a bit weird for me i was a bit suspicious because the address was written in caps lock and then small letters when you see this mix of caps lock and small letters the only way places i see them generally are in my spam folder in the emails in my spam folder from 419 scammers so i i was like okay let me find out more about this university let me go to their website augpusa.com and so I went to their website and when I got to their website, I found the Academy of Universal Global Peace USA. So uh, this is Dr. Madhu Krishan. He is the founder and chairman and director at the University for Global Peace. So nothing bad so far, so good, except for the fact that the website looks so shitty. I mean, look at the website. This is supposed to be an, a, a big time university or association. Look at their website it's poorly made the text is bad the logos are bad well i was like okay maybe that's how they do your own stuff so they call themselves here the academy of universal global peace however if you do another google search you find out that they are also known as the american university for global peace usa and here's their website you see they have the stock photo of some random white people <laughs> in the classroom obviously not their students and this is obviously the first sign that something fishy is going on here when you cannot have your own proper legit 
kind of photos anyway i was going through the page trying to see what their university is about and they call degrees all united nations subjects and all degrees i don't know what the united nations subject means anyway so they offer lifetime achievers it's the title of doctor of letters so this is their honorary degree and if you want to apply send an email to augp.info at gmail.com so i don't have to remind any of us that every reputable organization university institution they have their email addresses at a specific domain like the university name the institution name not at gmail.com in fact if you apply for a letter of recommendation to to study at some university you know if your letter of recommendation is coming from your professor and it doesn't come from their university email address many times it won't be accepted if the professor is using his personal or personal gmail or yahoo mail then it won't be accepted but here these guys are using their augp.info at gmail.com so they offer degrees in theology doctorate in establishing doctorate in establishing peace worldwide <laughs> theology church management and all this kind of stuff so this how you 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 if you don't use this email address you can use madu jesus at hotmail.com <laughs> so they have this hotmail and gmail you know email addresses so i already knew that these people were these people were really really fishy i would have loved to show you the whole page but it's, i cannot capture the full screen so i i thought i should do my further research on who this dr madu christian in this video who this man is this man who is supposed to be the the president or the the, the chairman of AUGP whether you think AUGP is Academy of Universal Global Peace or you think AUGP is American University for Global Peace, whichever name you use, this is Dr. Madhu Christian's LinkedIn profile. So I found him on LinkedIn. As you can see here, this is him on LinkedIn. And here it says that he is no longer the chairman of AUGP. He's now the governor of Oxford High Academy of United Kingdom in Albania. So they have this, their statement, we believe in one God, one global earth, one nation. He has all these things about peace in his write-up, you know. So I decided to see what his education was. Who is this man? Is he qualified even to give this kind of degrees? Is he qualified enough to even own his own institution and teach people? So I checked and I saw that his education says that he went to College of Engineering in USA, got the PhD and SD and DD. But College of Engineering at what university? At what school? You cannot just go to College of Engineering. You must be at a particular school, but you cannot say. And now, if you scroll down here, you see Model School, PhD USA, DD USA, yada, yada, yada. So, did he get his PhD at a Model School or at a College of Engineering? You know? So, I already, like, I, I at this point, when I got to this point, I knew it was something very, very fishy. You know? And I was surprised that people could do this kind of stuff openly without any fear of somebody exposing them. And, I saw that people are not even really, you know, done uh, expose these guys to show us who they really were. So I went to check for since he said that he was a governor at Oxford High Academy of United Kingdom. I went to check for the Oxford High Academy of United Kingdom, and when I checked for it, this is the page. I couldn't find anything related to to this academy. Everything I found was related to Oxford University. And when I typed in Oxford High Academy for Research and Education, everything I got was also related to Oxford University. So there was nothing about this academy there. And I have to point out at this point that this is something that's common with people who are shady. So what do they do? They misinform the public. They don't come out to tell open lies. They just misinform the public. They use some kind of names that make you unsuspecting. You know, you don't, you, you don't suspect them anymore. So when they put Oxford or Cambridge in their names, you already think it's Oxford University or Cambridge University in UK. You think it has something to do with them, not knowing that it has nothing to do with Oxford or Cambridge. So he called the institution uh, the Oxford Higher Academy of United Kingdom. But this has no affiliation. As you can see, there's no link related to that with Oxford. So it's like he's just using that name because he knows the, most people are gullible and most people will not even do their investigation about this. You know, so I started to do more research on the man. And I found out that he received an award from an, from a, a, an institution called the Award Council of India. And this is him here with his award. According to them, he is a social reformer, an activist, an environmentalist, a scientist, an educator, a peace builder, a human rights activist, a constitutional rights activist, a motivator, a change maker. Let me start counting my leg. A teacher, a trainer, a disaster management expert, 
panel arbitrator, yada, yada, yada. So this man is like jack of all trades. He's the one doing every single thing, you know. And I was wondering, like, who are these Award Council of India giving people awards, you know. Here they say he collected the U.S. President's Lifetime Award from Barack Obama here. But it's a lie because I checked my, I did my research and I found out that he didn't get any award from Obama. I didn't get any award from the United Nations also as best peace protector. He's always talking this peace, peace, peace. Like, what's this? what does this man mean? You know, and one thing about people like this is that if you try to criticize them, people will come and attack you because they'll tell you that, look at this man now. The only thing he's preaching is peace. That's all he's preaching. If you don't like it, leave me alone. Ah, he's not forcing you to come and collect the doctorate degree now. He's not forcing you. He's not preaching, not preaching peace. So they try to use this kind of things. These people present themselves as so gentle and meek. And the average person begins to defend and defend them. You understand? And criticize you. So this Award Council of India, I wanted to know who they were. So I did a Google search of Award Council of India. And I, it was obvious already from the first click that these guys have nothing to do with the Indian government. Because when you call yourself an Award Council of India, it makes it sound to an outsider that you are affiliated to the Indian government. But they are not. Because at the end of the day, just within one Google page, there's no more information about them. It's just this particular link to their website, which is here. Award Council of India. And you know one thing that shady institutions do again? They award reputable people. So they say they are giving an award to a minister in India and to the Prime Minister of India also. But I can assure you that when they give out this award to these two people, these two people did not go there. They didn't go there. They just said, oh, you know, we want to give the award to our president. And they, and they give him the award, even without him, you know, acknowledging this award. As long as they say we've given him, they can put it on their website. And guess who is here under that? Our uh, man, Madhu Krishan. He's here in both places. He, Madhu Krishan, he ran it for 10 kilometers <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. So you can see the, again here that the writing on the screen, the, the, the kind of fonts they use, the grammatical errors that they make, is the same as in the other websites that I showed us. So, Madhu Krishan is kind of like everywhere collecting awards and giving out awards. So, once I did that already and I found out that Madhu Krishan was not a straightforward person, or he was a fraud basically, I now stumbled upon this website, cHubmagazine.com. So, cHubmagazine.com is run by a Nigerian lady called Faustina Ayahu. And so, in this video, she kind of exposed, she kind of exposed these people for giving out this their fake degree. She titled it Rogue Academy Selling Fake Honorary Doctorate Response to Our Initial Report Accuses C Hub of wanting to extract huge amount of money from them. So if you look at this photo if you look at this article here, you see these photos of Madhu Krishan and all these African people giving them their doctorate degrees. Look at the wall. The photos on the wall are African people collecting their doctorate degrees from Madhu Krishan. Uh, here also people some white people are collecting the degrees also and they sent a reply to this lady basically telling her that you know you are shaming us and you are embarrassing us and that kind of stuff so i'll let me let me see if i can uh, make this thing smaller so we can read everything on this on this letter uh just a moment please yeah you know so if you see here now they accuse them of wanting to extract money from them, trying to cause conflict and all and all those things. And look at this photo. This is another thing that shady people do. They know they know that a typical, a typical African person, when we see when uh, there's no well traveled, when they see white people in the photo, they already think that it's legit. You know, people will say things like, ah, for a more person to come and join you in that thing, that thing must be legit, or you know. So they have these white people as figureheads there, giving them awards too. So that any unsuspecting person that sees this photo will be like, ah, well, they have some white people collecting their awards. There can, there can be nothing wrong with these people. So look at Madhu Krishan again, making the peace sign with them, giving this woman a doctor of humanity, you know. And once I read this article, I discovered that people were paying money to get these awards. They were paying lots of money to get these awards. They are paying up to five thousand pounds to get the awards and if you look if you look here when they were trying to debunk the claims of the article they began talking different things about how somebody wanted to kidnap dr madhu krishan how how madhu krishan has been stopping terrorism and all this kind of stuff they 
they began to appeal to to emotion and it's something that's common amongst people who try, are trying to defraud other people when they have nothing reasonable to say they begin to appeal to emotion they begin to say oh you know we've suffered a lot let's forget about those other things they're not important let's focus on peace and peace building here look at them they talk about being legally incorporated and registered under the, under the usa federal government it's another trick of scam stars you know they make you think that because they are a legally reg registered entity it means that they are legit but the truth is that anybody can register anything as long as you don't do tax fraud or you don't openly defraud people no problem you can run your organization you can do anything you want it's a free world you know so that's how these guys are thriving if you look here in this article can you see it says here that to get a degree you must make a minimum donation of over a thousand pounds over a thousand pounds to get a degree from these guys so somebody mentioned that they asked her to pay i think even 2500 pounds you see it highlighted here i was asked to pay 2500 pounds to get this degree so these guys they are tricking people and making people pay money for these their degrees and the people who are actually paying for these things i think they know what they are doing but they doesn't they are all, they don't care all they know is that they want to have this doctorate degree behind their names to open other doors for them. So I now find out that these same people, they are the owners of the American University for Global Peace USA, the United Nations, sorry, the United Nations University for Global Peace USA. So you can see it here. They're the owners of this. They claim to be affiliated to the United Nations Global Peace University, making it look as if it's the real UN. But they are actually the owners of this same United Nations University of Global Peace. The real, the real United Nations University here i've written a claim to debunk these people you can see it here they, they, they mentioned american university for global peace they say please be aware that we do not uh, we're not affiliated or associated with and we do not authorize or endorse with this american university for global peace so united nations university officially has come out to debunk them but they are still using this their own look at the same stock photo that we saw before with all these people and look at the website designed like the other website like the other website and look at here the academy of universal global peace showing here so you can see here that they say they are conducting research into emerging technologies blockchain ai internet of things <laughs> they are everywhere madhu krishan is everywhere he's taking photos with white people taking photos with different people just to because he knows that because like i said before they know when you see a white person in the photo you're like oh it must be legit you know so this is what these guys are doing they are presenting themselves as what they are not and they are taking people's money from them well these people are paying willingly because those people are also those people are also fraud stars they also want to present an image of what they are not so you can see already when you google the institute the academy you already see articles that point out that it's fake fake honor fake honor fake honor but you have so many african people who don't seem to mind who are happy to go there and collect these degrees and sit down with these people these shady people this shady man and i'm wondering like are people so desperate for honors that they will go to this length just to get something you know and then i realized that over about 10 years ago may 4th of 2010 somebody had written up a blog post about this institution that's selling fake degrees and this au this augp he mentioned here that the hero of this fake institution you see here, the hero of this fake institution is a fake degree holder, Madhu Krisha, and his supporter, N.M. Dixon Fernando. As at that time, they were selling the fake degree at $30 to $40. So as of 2010, the cost of one degree was $30 to $40, as can be seen here. However, now it's at least £1,300. So they are even selling for maybe over 30, 40 times, over 40 times the original price, you know. They're selling for about 30 to 40 times the original price that they sold for in 2010. So they are, it seems that they're fully settled into their scam. They're comfortable with it to the extent that they cannot increase their prices and nobody cares. So many Africans in diaspora are desperate to present an image of themselves that is not true. They are desperate to call themselves doctor because they know in Nigeria you go around and you bandy around the name PhD, PhD. People will begin to brag about you, you know. Even I myself... My parents, they are always happy to shout that, oh, my boy is doing this PhD, this and that, you know, because it's like the highest level of education you can get. And there's this, there's this uh, stereotype that a PhD holder is a brilliant person. 
and he's a smart person and he's, he's someone that can that, that you can put on your team you know so this is why the, this is why these people accumulate these fake degrees just to be able to open certain doors that would otherwise not be open to them but they, they want to accumulate the degrees without putting in the work i have to mention at this point that there's nothing wrong in receiving a honorary degree because a honorary degree like i said it it recognizes this fact that you have contributed stuff socially to, to your society and to the environment and it's a good honor however when people are purposely going to buy these degrees there is a problem and i just actually make this video so you guys can see all these things there many of us are working very hard monday to saturday on our phds seven eight hours every day so sometimes more just to get this phd degree and there's some people that just sit down on their asses they don't do anything and they just pay up some money collect a degree from a shady institution and they sail off into the sunset you know so guys please share this video let people know what's going on let people know the, uh, the amount of fraud that is going on being committed by these people so as i said before i, I was go i'm going to play again the video so you guys can watch and enjoy like maybe 30 seconds of this Thirty thousand every year through our higher academy courses through our phds higher phds and many seminars conferences and all this particular award of this Human Excellence Golden Award, we give only to the very top people like really? parliamentarians, very top. like prime ministers and mm. presidents. Along with that, a peace ambassador. So, our Anil Nair, who is very popularly known as uh, Bombay Thambi. Yeah? New Bombay? Okay. <laughs> a very popular person. He is our collaborator. We are giving him this two particular award. That is, first is Human Excellence Golden Award, and also. So yeah, guys, there you have it. And uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and stay far from these scammers. <laughs> Alright, guys. So bye.